In this video, we're going to learn how to access the S&P Capital IQ database. We'll also go over accessing Capital IQ Pro, which is a fantastic resource. I'm a big fan of it because I enjoy using the Bloomberg terminals, but the Bloomberg terminals can only be accessed on campus unless you have a Bloomberg Anywhere subscription, which I personally don't which is the case probably for you as well, unless you have one through work. So Capital IQ is a great source of data that you can access from home. And I think many of you are gonna like this because it'll give you pretty much a lot of what you can find in Bloomberg wherever you wanna be. So to download the add-in so you can retrieve data through Excel, you're first going to search for Capital IQ. And so to access the Capital IQ, we're going to search for UCO Library Database in your search bar. This should be your top result. We're going to click on this A to Z Library Databases, or you can navigate through the UCO website, search for the library website, and then once you're there, search for A to Z Databases. Now we're going to select C for CompuStat. Many of you may be thinking, wait, I thought this was called SMP Capital IQ or Capital IQ. It is, but the data source that we use within there, why we subscribe is to get the CompuStat data. You'll notice within the description, it says CIQ for capital IQ, so we know we're in the right location. Click on CompuStat. Now, once we get here, you're gonna to need to set up an account. I've already set up an account, so I can't walk you through that process, but right up here in the upper right-hand portion, you'll see new user. So click new user and go ahead and set up an account. I recommend using your UCO email right here. Notice from this point, you can also access pro. I log into the regular capital IQ and then you can access pro through that. And I'll show you how shortly. So we'll refresh real quick. There we go. So sometimes that happens, you get an error notice. Just refresh or click my IQ, no problem. So first, if you wanted to access Pro, notice in the upper right-hand corner here, you see S&P Capital IQ Pro. Just right-click and we'll open this in a new tab. I'm a big fan. First, I like the look. There's nothing wrong with the look here. It's great for getting data, but this one's obviously more modern and snappy, and there's just so much great information here. If you want to get fixed income data, for instance, you'll look at markets, and this will be a common place many of you would want to look. You can look at just popular topics. If maybe you're interested in accounting, auditing fees, you want to see what the big four are doing, and then if you want to look at the fifth runner, say BDO, you can see how the size of those uh, accounting firms you can look at rates, yields for fixed income class, I like to look here. There's other information that you can uh, access on derivatives. If there's a sector of particular interest, go to sector. Some other spots you might find interesting screeners. So maybe if you're looking to uh, find assets on the cheap or you're looking for a certain industry you want to compare, the screener is fantastic. I like to go to the dashboard home because it will just give you a summary of what's going on in the marketplace. You'll see some of the relevant news that's popping up. You'll see here we have a uh, chart for the S&P and we see kind of what's going on with exchange rates and we can look at some of the different um, exchanges and see how they're performing in the global markets. If you are interested in bonds for fixed income, crypto, commodities, so I really like this because you can access this at home, whereas the Bloomberg, you're really limited to when you're on campus. So this is a fantastic tool that you could use at say, one in the morning when you can't go to sleep and you just wanna see what's going on in global markets or you're coming up with uh, 
strategies for the next day in terms of trading. If you wanted to download the add-in for Pro, you'll click on More, go to Links, and go to the Office download here. You can also find this by searching for Download Excel Capital IQ Add-in. So the first link, at least for me, is this one it says S&P Capital IQ. You always want to check to make sure that the address that it's pulling from is legitimate, that you're not um, clicking on somebody's uh, spoofed website where you're going to download something you don't want to. You can download from here, but I really prefer to log into Capital IQ and download directly. That way I know that I'm getting the direct download and not something that's uh, potentially been adulterated. All right, so those are options, but again, I prefer to access right here. Let's go back to the regular Capital IQ. And what you're going to notice is right under my profile, there's a link here that says downloads. Let's make this a little bigger and you'll see it right here. So we're going to click on downloads. And this link is what you're going to want to select next download office plugin. So this is downloading. I've actually already downloaded it to save some time. So I'm going to click on it. And it's going to take a few moments for this to uh, pop up in your system. You'll get a notice like this for the plugin. I've already done it. Allowed access. Click next. Agree to the terms. Next. I'm fine with all the add-ins, so maybe I want to use something in a PowerPoint presentation or Word. So this will be a very useful resource in other classes. So I add those in if you're anticipating doing a uh, presentation down the line. And so everything's been successfully installed, which is fantastic. That part's pretty snappy. So we'll click finish. What's gonna happen next is we'll open up Excel. And what you're gonna notice now is there'll be a new ribbon installed in Excel. If not, I'll show you how to turn those on. But why this is fantastic, you can go into Capital IQ every time and download data directly. But I like having this add-in. So what you'll do here is you'll place your username and your password and you can access. Notice up here now on our ribbon, we have a ribbon for Capital IQ and downloading data. So we can create templates, screening, screening tools, formulas. And so once you have built certain um, sheets that you want to pull for regular uh, analysis or looking at data it's set within the system so it's really nice and i'll show you that in another video and so that's why i'm a real big fan of using cap iq there's just so much data it's so rich and you can access it at home or wherever you're at with your login so again you put your access information here and you're good to go if this didn't pop up for you right away, what you can always do is go and file and you'll come down to, um, or if it's account notes, options. And so there's two things you'll want to pay attention to. First is add-ins. So notice here when I do add-ins, I have capital IQ worksheet function, Excel add-in, and there's also the com add-in. And this is the same for Alpha Vantage if you've downloaded Alpha Vantage already. So you'll see my Alpha Vantage here. First, you can go to Excel add-ins, click go, and make sure that this one that says S&P capital IQ worksheet function is checked. If it's unchecked like that, simply check it. This is no different than if you uh, added in solver tool pack to get the data analysis tools and the solver tool. Next, we're gonna repeat. We're gonna click on file again, go down options, add-ins, and now we're going to go to com add-ins and click go. And now we want to make sure that the S&P capital IQ com add-in is selected. If it's not selected, we're just going to select it. Notice now it'll load its startup. Perfect. And we should be good to go. If that was the case where you need to add those in, it should pop up just in case it doesn't.
close your Excel, open it back up, and then you'll be able to log in. All right, so that's your intro video, and I will see you in another video.